All right, everyone, what is up here today? I'm doing another unboxing. This is a series that I've uh, been considering for a while, just because I have uh, so many old games. I was going through some boxes the other day, and I've got just like tons of physical copies of Xbox 360 games, um, some PS2 games, you know, things like that. So basically, this will be the first of a series that I'm going to start calling Retro Unboxings. <laughs> it makes me feel kind of old to say that because uh, the Xbox 360 is now considered retro gaming um, by all accounts. So figured I'd start it off with a bang here, guys, and do the Perfect Dark Zero Limited Collector's Edition. Now for all you guys that don't know, maybe like you younger people out there, like the Zoomers or... I think Gen Alpha, they're too young still, but a lot of uh, Zoomers were probably like born when this game came out, so um, I believe it came out in 2005. Um, yeah, the back there says 2005, as you can see right there, and I just remember um, this was like a year before I graduated high school, and me and my friends were just absolutely pumped for this game. Um, we, we played Perfect Dark, the first game, on the N64, like, for a very, very long time. It was basically, like, GoldenEye, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Super Smash Bros., and Perfect Dark. Those were, like, the only games we played on N64, and Perfect Dark's multiplayer, especially, we just played that to oblivion. So, I remember when this game was announced, um, it was, it was kind of a big deal, so, um... This edition, actually, I got at midnight launch, so I still have it. Um, it's still in relatively good condition, as you guys can see. Um, and the good news about this is if you guys are retro collectors or just, you know, maybe you want to start collecting in general, this game isn't really that expensive. I, I was a little shocked. Um, I think that you can you can get this, this exact uh, collector's edition for, like, 15 20 dollars on ebay something like that so it's not even that bad um but yeah i was just going through the boxes and i saw this and i was like oh yeah i did have that because because you know over the years too i i sold a lot of 360 games you know sold some bought some boxed some up so anyway yeah this will be the first one so Obviously, and, and another thing I will say before doing this, because um, I've always ranted on this channel about how just cheap new games are with uh, the physical editions, how they just they don't put a manual in there. A lot of times the disc doesn't even have anything on it. You're just basically buying like a key to play the game online. Like They don't actually put the data on the disc. So this is going to be a perfect example of what I mean when I say games used to just be so much better with what they came with. So, first of all, it comes with this awesome sleeve. As you can see, the, the Joanna Dark on the back is actually not even part of the sleeve. The sleeve is just like this cool transparent thing. Kind of adds to it there. And uh, here's the back, if you guys want to read that. I'm not going to read all this off because... Uh, take too long but I love how it says the year is 2020 it's just really funny it's like it's like the original Blade Runner I think that the year in that movie is 2017 so it's just funny reading these things but anyway this comes with bonus DVD a comic book and a glyph as you guys will see when I open it and I did check before whoops I did check before making this video um, it does have everything in it so I I haven't lost anything the, the disc is actually in pretty good condition too for how much I played this game but yeah we'll open her up so before I do here's the steelbook like I said just really it looks really good the gun is all uh, holographic or whatever it's bumpy so you can see that and then it says perfect dark zero down at the corner there got the sidebar as I like to always show you guys 
and then on the back it's like this cool future this is not even even close to how cool the game looked by the way that that's another rant i could go on is uh i don't particularly not like this game but i just remember it wasn't as great as i thought it would be like we still me and my friends still played it a lot because there was like nothing on the 360 when this came out this was like literally a launch title um but uh Sorry, I think you guys might be able to hear my dog is uh, yelping, so apologize for that, if you can hear that. But yeah, the game never even, this looks like something from like Cyberpunk 2077, the game never even came close to looking this good, so. But still, it's a cool little uh, steel book. So there you go. Then we will see what is inside, guys. This is what I mean, so this is what I mean when I bitch and moan about manuals so not only does this have so like this is something you'd see in a modern game if you're lucky like they just put that oh there's the controls you know this has like it even has its own artwork it's like a guide to modern combat right it makes it look like it's like a, a data dine manual but as you can see it's like a full color thing here it's really this is this was normal whoops I'm gonna scoop this back a bit so that quits falling, quits falling down. Sorry, but yeah, this was like normal, guys, um, to see something like this in a game. Like almost every game, like PlayStation Two, especially, you would see this. You know, I don't know if this one has it, but uh, a lot of old, yeah, it kind of does. See, like like a lot of old guys, they put like lore in there. You could actually like read lore that that like wouldn't even be in the game. And so, it was just, it was just a lot of fun, I don't know. In hindsight, we took it for granted, but, you know, going back now, it's like, it's like, wow, they, they really did give us stuff. Like, yeah, see, here's, here's a good example. I mean, like, they have, like, dossiers in here, like, you can read about the characters in the game. It just, it just actually looks really good, you know, lots of reading. <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of it, maybe it's like nonsensical stuff, but this is just what I mean. Like a lot of the, the younger generations, they've done studies, like the younger generations have like really low attention spans and the TikTok generation, all that. And it's, I think it's because of things like this. Like we, we just don't, there was no internet when I was, I think when this game came out, the only game I had played on Xbox Live was like Halo 2 before this. So even this game, I don't think I really played it on the internet. So... Anyway, you kind of get the gist there. But look, yeah, look how freaking long this thing is. <laughs> like, like it's uh, it's 32 pages, guys. So, yeah, that is a manual right there. That is a manual. So, put that aside. And then, yeah, that's what you would have got if you just got the standard version. I believe that you just get that and you get the game. But this is like the limited edition steelbook, so this comes with other things. So here's the the comic book, which I always thought that was a. I really like that artwork. I wish they would have put like a poster in here or something. I remember thinking that, but you know, I always liked that uh, that picture of Joanna. Looks really good. And on the back, you know, just has the same. Kind of looks like the steelbook. But yeah, as you can see as well, it's a. Uh, full-on comic book basically it's got the ads in it well yeah like i think there was like a nokia thing i can't remember this game it, it was like a big ad placement in this game it, it was nokia phone another way to feel old right that was high tech back then but yeah that i mean comic books used to have that you know the women look good that's another thing i noticed about older games like it wasn't as woke you could actually have like you know like cleavage and have the women look really, really feminine and have like girly hair and all that without all the tattoos and I don't know. They just look like men now. You, you want a perfect example, go play the new uh, Saints Row game or like uh, Far Cry 6. I, I think that new, that new garbage Suicide Squad game. Like this is what they do now, but back then it was not like that. It was, it was much better, so... And, you know, and Perfect Dark kind of is like a girl power game, but it wasn't it wasn't as cringe. And so, yeah, I I like I liked it, I liked it a lot. 
this was kind of in the vein of like a Tomb Raider, right? Like the, these were fun. So yeah, there's the comic. So comes with a manual and a comic. And then this is the the glyph thing, sorry. The glyph thing that it comes with. I never quite understood what this was supposed to be. Like, I think it's just a cool little card, I guess. You could use it as like a bookmark, I guess, if you wanted, but. This was just kind of cool. It's not really like a sticker or anything. Like this literally is just a like holographic card. So, yeah. And then the last thing, this is the funniest thing that they had because this is literally just an advertisement for a, for a phone. So let's go down memory lane here. I actually had a phone similar to that. That kind of looks like the Motorola Razor. That was what I had. But yeah, this was like when flip phones were like it. And uh, this is how old school this ad is. So back then, to download any kind of wallpaper, you basically had to like go to the, the store, kind of like an app store type thing that we have now. And you had to actually like pay a dollar or whatever to get um, like wallpapers and stuff. So what this ad actually is, is as like part of the perk of buying the game, they were giving you this like free Joanna Dark wallpaper for your phone. So that's like the whole point of this. And you'd have to go to the, the website as you can see. And so yeah, but then there's nothing on the back. So yep, those are the inserts, and then uh, normally you just get the game. So here's the game. Pretty cool disc. I always liked that disc. You know that came that went in and out of my Xbox for a long time. That was another thing too, because you couldn't install games, so you just have it just spin. And like some of these games, I think this was one of them, they just sounded like a like an engine was going off in your room. It was so loud. And if you even bumped the Xbox, it would eat your disc. So, And then, yeah, here's the limited edition DVD, which I believe this is similar to what the Halo 2 had back in the day. This is like a, it's like a behind the scenes documentary or whatever. And, you know, pretty standard looking disc. So, so yeah, that's kind of it, guys. That's kind of uh, what it comes with. The perfect dark zero limited collector's edition. So yeah, like I said, I just feel like I just felt like doing uh, doing a new series, and uh, I have I have a lot of videos like this I can make. So let me know if you guys like these in the comments because you know if, if you don't really like this maybe, maybe I'm not maybe it's not that old maybe like a lot of people still remember this kind of stuff but you know we're in 2024 now so this game literally almost came out 20 years ago at this point so that's the way I'm looking at it you know things that are like 10 15 20 years ago that's basically retro now you know we're, we're on the Series X but I think Microsoft just said they're gonna announce their new console soon so like we're basically like three generations removed from this this game at this point so yeah that is it so anyway guys that is the video let me know what you guys thought about that um, and if you're new to the channel as well um, be sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and like the video as well it helps with the algorithm you guys can comment down below as well like I said let me know if you guys like these videos um, but yeah, that's basically it. And with that said, this has been Jigsaw0097. I'll talk to you all later.